two on the list anyway. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Trevor Harris! How the fuck is everybody, man? Yeah! Right on. So uh, I have cerebral palsy, which means I can't crip walk. It's kind of awkward because I look great in blue. I have a handicap placard, so I'm supposed to be able to fucking do it, but I can't. However, I am able to finally flip people off with my cerebral palsy left hand. That is the power of physical therapy, guys. It took me until I was 20 to do that. I just turned 27 last week. So never give up, okay? And uh, having CP also means that I am really easy to get out playing dodgeball. Future reference there. Also, when I was little, I used to wear Velcro shoes, and then I like became an adult, and I realized I should probably switch to lock laces, because it would be less embarrassing, and quite frankly, I consider that kind of a graduation. <laughs> Thank you for laughing, because not a lot of people know what lock laces are, so I appreciate it. And sometimes, you know, now that I'm an adult, I, I'm in LA, and uh, People, you know, they'll just be bugging you when you're at the beach because apparently limps make you look funny. And they come up to you and they go, hey, dude, you, uh, you kind of look like Jim Morrison. I'll be like, oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. But, I mean, I would look like him if he had a stroke. And, of course, dating is kind of difficult because I remember being in school. I'd be going to class and I'd lock eyes with some girls, you know, and they'd look at me and they'd be like, hey, Trev. What's going on? Like, nothing, man. How are you? And they go, well, uh, we got a question for you. You know, we saw you limping and we were wondering, is your cock paralyzed? Uh, no. Would you like to try it sometime? It works fine. And she's like, oh, you know, I totally would, but I only date guys that know how to tie their shoes. <laughs> I know. That's why I hire hookers to take care of me when I'm sick. <laughs> Yeah, but no, dude, I remember I was 20. I was in a lot of chronic pain, because believe it or not, guys, when you have cerebral palsy and epilepsy and whatnot, your body crashes. So my doctor was like, hey, the only time you're out of pain, you're watching comedy specials, pursue a stand-up career, so this is what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. This is my seventh year, but let me get to the hooker story. <laughs> I'm in all this goddamn pain, right? And usually I used to hire different girls in my apartment complex to just hang out and need, because it's really expensive to go to the ER. You know, it's like 500 bucks for ambulance and then another 200 for uh, morphine. And I don't have that kind of money. What you need to be doing is fucking Muslim women for free morphine. But 9-11 happened and that's frowned upon now, you know? I'm Irish, we're Catholic, it's not supposed to happen. I eat bacon. It's just not a thing. But anyway, so I'm just going on sites like Backpage and whatnot. I'm calling up all these chicks and they're like, oh, I could totally make it. So one comes over and she's like, uh, what do you want me to do? I go, uh, yeah, I called you because I need my shoes off and the pizza guy wouldn't do it. <laughs> she's like, is that it? I go, uh, yeah. And she's like, you don't want me to suck you off? You know, let's put it this way. I'm in so much chronic pain that if you were to suck my balls, it would feel like a spike would go through my sack. <laughs> Neither of us would enjoy that. So please, can you just hug me? And guys, I swear to God, the next thing she says is, your skin is really soft. I go, well, you know how black people use cocoa butter? I'm Irish, so we just rub ourselves with potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and believe it or not, I actually take baths in whiskey. And that doesn't give me seizures. And if you think about it, guys, how many of you guys are into, like, weird trivia? Hell yeah. Okay, fun fact, I don't hate anybody because different cultures have different benefits, okay? Colombians, they make cocaine. And you know what cocaine helps you do? It helps you calm down from seizures, right? So let's say you're seizing, you're watching a roast or whatever, your parents call an ambulance, and all these different fucking guys are like 6'8", 350 pounds. They have to come get you and, and calm you down. They all look like Lawrence Taylor, 
and they give you a suppository. They stick it up your ass because apparently that's how that shit works. And I'm like, wait, these guys are not coming to get me? No, wait a minute. They all look like Lawrence Taylor. They're just giving me their prized possession. Oh, no Giants fans in here. I love cocaine. He, he's not, he's my guy, okay? And you know what? I'm going to end on that because I think I'm going to lose my balance up here. But y'all been awesome. I've been trapped. Woo!